The Public Utilities Regulatory Commission, PRC, says it has secured compensation of more than 36,000 Ghana cities from the ECG, that is the Electricity Company of Ghana for consumers whose equipment were damaged due to negligence and poor service quality. Well, a statement signed by Nanaya Jantua, who is the Director for Public Relations and External Affairs of the PRC, said the compensation was paid after the electricity consumers who lost equipment complained to the PRC for a redress. And subsequently, they received between 150 Ghana cities and 5,045 Ghana cities. And the statement said the equipment were damaged mainly due to power surges and fluctuations. Well, consumers whose equipment or appliances are damaged due to quality of service by the utility service providers can report to the PRC. <coughs> uh, I beg your pardon. <coughs> Line Nanaya Jantua um, to give us a, a a lot more thoughts on the subject. I seem to have uh, some difficulty in my throat uh, this morning. Nanea, a very good morning to you. Good morning and happy new year. <laughs> Sorry, I seem to be... <coughs> I guess the new year has not been good for me this morning. <laughs> uh, don't worry. Yeah, the weather <laughs> okay. is a bit bad. It's yeah, I guess so. All of us. <coughs> yeah. Now, um, Take this... your time over it. Yes, uh, we just have to, we still just have to go by this very uh, this very initiative. When did it get all started? And uh, this actually news to the news people, right? No, it, 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 it's always been there, and uh, maybe what we didn't do right was to publicize it or talk about it publicly. We've been giving compensation and refunds to consumers who, one way or the other, mm. have lost equipment have been overbilled, or any issue that the utility service provider didn't do right. And this is not the first time we have done it. We've been doing it. And what the situation is that if you have a problem with a utility service provider, your equipment has been damaged due to poor quality of service, you have issues with your service, you report to the utility service provider. That's the first point of call. And if they are unable to solve your problem for you, then you escalate it to the PRC. And when it gets to the PRC, we investigate them thoroughly and make sure that the writing is done for the consumer. And this very payout, uh, 36,000 Ghana cities this time around, is for which period? A week or a day in which of the months? No, it's, it's, it's throughout the year. I don't have the specific month. Oh, really? 36,000? Yes, because well, these are these are the issues that were protracted, that there were disputes. For instance, the utility service provider would say that at this point we are we don't think that it is our fault. The consumer will say it is your fault. Then they will escalate it to our office. So it is not all the complaints on damaged equipment. These are the ones mm. that were protracted mm. because there are times the consumer will go to the utility service provider, then there will be a dispute over their argument. For instance, there was one in a Jubilee radio in the Volta region. It went to the utility service provider. That was two years ago, and it came to our office, and we looked at the issue. There has been a lot of issues behind their, their printing press or bank. Now we are looking at some um, issues where some consumers have lost their property due to power surges and fluctuations, and we are investigating it right now. The ones that come to us are the ones that have been unresolved by the utility service provider. But we can, you can also come directly if you want to complain directly to us. That, that, will be, that is also okay. But we always encourage consumers to go to the utility service provider. But it, 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 if, if you allow this, are you not opening the floodgates for perhaps a lot more of these complaints, uh, especially no, in bigger magnitudes? As far as quantum is concerned. It does not matter if really these complaints are, are genuine. Because when you come and report that you're, you've lost an equipment, we don't just give you compensation. We have to ascertain and verify that truly you lost the equipment due to a power surge or due to a fluctuation. Mm. We don't just give compensation so that maybe somebody's equipment is spot already and they will bring it. No, that mm. is not what we do. We actually investigate to the core to find out that truly at this time or this area, they have power surges. There are some areas there where there's a suppressed demand issue because they have overloaded transformers. 
and all these power surges uh, create problems. So once it is established, sometimes we go and we don't have a power quality analyzer. We are now procuring one. It's going to the procurement process. So we get power quality analyzers and put it in the area to find out if this area is prone to surges and fluctuations. And we check even your essence. We check all the electrical um, fittings in your home, your equipment, to ensure that the problem that you are talking about wasn't due to something that you did yourself. And when it is finally established that it is the ECG that caused it, then we give you compensation. Mm. So it, uh, how are the reports made? Uh, is it to your regional offices? It is to wherever our offices are. And also some are done by phone. Is that you can report to, you can complain to us uh, through phone, you can complain to us, you come to our office. So th that is it. So when you complain to us, then we start investigating the matter. But I want to reiterate again that most of these complaints are the ones that are unresolved by the utility service providers. And the amount, 36,000 Ghana cities, and we're being told that maximum, just a little over 5,000 paid um, yeah. as compensation. Uh, how did you yeah. arrive by that? Is it, uh, is it the no, we look at current the price of the, of the equipment or, or, or just no, the, we look at the, the value, value of the equipment? We look at um, when it was bought and all that. I mean, with televisions and those things, you look at the age and all But if you lose a house, that one, we have to pay the value of the building at the going rate because it's assumed that um, this is an equipment that the property that appreciates. So we look at the value of it, and between the, a new one and an old one, you get a compensation that will allow you to procure a new one. And that's 36,000 Ghana cities. There was a compensation for a house. What type of I house? I can't hear you. The 36,000? No, there was no house in this one. This one, it was a hotel room, some fridges, some televisions, cameras. These were mo mostly domestic equipment and one um, commercial refrigerator in the hotel room. Okay. These were very, these were all domestic equipment. But I'm saying that in case you lose a house, then it means that we give you what will enable you to get a, a, a new house. Okay, uh, in order just not to be repetitive, uh, do I get the understanding that uh, some of the pay payouts were made to individuals? I can't hear you. Did, do I get the understanding that some of the payouts were made to individuals? Yeah, these are, yes, most of it were for individuals, domestic, and most of them, for this particular one, most of them were domestic uh, consumers. Mm -hmm. We have one uh, commercial and we have um, one hotel person. Hotel yeah. In taking this up with the utility service providers, how did they take it? I don't. I don't understand. It's a law. This is the law that we have that we are implementing. It's one of our allies. The allies on complaints handling and resolution. It is their duty to compensate consumers if they don't provide the right kind of service and the consumer loses an equipment. It's not about how they will take it or how they will not take it. But we this, do is understand. this is mandatory. Okay, we do understand that that's part of the law, but it seems that there's one that you haven't captured uh, because a friend of mine around Odoa lost uh, his flat screen. And I think the LED was cost about 5,000 Ghana cities. And so I you haven't captured... You. I'm, I'm saying a friend of mine uh, also had this... Did he, uh, come, did he come to PRC? No, well, uh, he's not come... Yeah, uh, once uh, he, yes, once he didn't come to us, it will not be captured. Because the rationale, the, ones, mm -hmm. the, ra the rationale for my question is just to give you an indication that there are a lot more people out there who have some of these complaints. And so once you've made it public, you think that uh, the utility providers or you have the... Uh, well... In terms of the capacity, uh -huh, the capital capacity to to make yeah, all these payouts. We don't give the, the, the this thing. We, it's also a form of penalty, you know, because the consumers are supposed to get quality of service. So if consumers are getting power surges and losing the equipment, who bears the cost? So then, if it is if they if they are supposed if they pay more compensation to consumers, then they would know that they have to sit up and do the right thing. It is also a form of penalty for them. I do not think that it is wrong for 
a consumer to get or purity does not think there is wrong for a consumer to get compensation for a computer, um, an equipment that is lost due to a power surge and fluctuation. If that is how it is, then mm. consumers should be compensated. Mm. Once we've done it for in the past for consumers and we are still doing it, once it is established that it was due to a power surge, certainly you have to be compensated. I'm talking about power you surges. are afraid we are opening the floodgates for um, people to come in? Of course, it has to be open. And it has been opened a long time ago. And consumers mm. have to be compensated. Well, thank you that you're making this public, though. In the meantime, uh, I'm sure these will be splashed on the the web page of the various news portals so that whatever difficulties people have, I'm sure Ghana Web, My Joe Online, all of them, so that I'm sure you can even buy a billboard. Don't you think so, Nana? We are doing all that. We are all going right. to put up all, all manner of numbers. We are going to advertise numbers. We are making arrangements for to free line. We are going to advertise our numbers. We are going to um, publish in the newspapers how to complain. It's not only about damaged equipment. Whatever complaints that you have as a consumer of water and electricity, you have to bring it to the fore for it. Even acquisition of meters. If you are, you are, we have applied for a meter and you are not getting it, you can complain to us. That way you don't complain to the utility. You complain directly to us. Mm. So we are going to do a lot of adverts out there for people to know exactly what they have to do in case they are dissatisfied with their service. Uh, it's as if PRS is always out there when there are tires. But there are other things that we do that we've been doing for all these years to help consumers. And it is time for us to come out and let people know exactly what it is. Now, uh, talking about power surges and complaints, uh, let me just run this by you because you don't have the time um, for, uh, uh, this morning. Uh, have you monitored the media reports that perhaps some level of low shedding is ongoing, well, maybe on a very minimal scale? Yeah, because they said they had some problems at Aboise. Um, they, they need to, I think, talk about it. they have some problems there. There are some repairs, some of the units are down that they are doing some repairs, and that is what I know. Mm. Now, if they're having low shedding and it's not been announced, is that poor quality service or improved service? It, that one is that one is, is, no, is inefficient because they need to announce it. Mm. Because once there's low shedding and it's beyond their control, then it means it because the law says that they have to announce planned and unplanned um, uh, outages. And these are unplanned outages because they, are, they have faults in the system. But they need to announce it. We made it clear that they should announce it. But mm. if they haven't done that, then there is a need to penalize them. Because you're going to ask for evidence of um, the announcements that have been made. And before we let you go, uh, do you know when the low shedding will end or after the repair? Oh, I don't think it's any serious low shedding. I think it's, it's just for, just one for them to repair. Yes, a couple of days. To repair. Uh, it should be even over because they said they were repairing. Their well, I, I just experienced it, I think, on Saturday. But are you sure it's low shedding or it was a fall? It was a low, low shedding. I think it went from it 6, was, then it came at uh, 10. Okay, then there is low shedding because I think they had they had to come out and talk about it because it's, it's, it's a low it's a low shedding that is going, but it's not on a large scale. Mm. You, you've it's never experienced it. This unit, I did, okay. I did. Okay. Yes, but these units are off, and right. they have to repair. I, I I think on Saturday Sunday I was off six to twelve o'clock, mm. and we were, I was aware because we were told, but. Uh, we told them to announce it in the public, but because I was off, I didn't have access to a radio. Okay, thank you very much. Nanaya Jantua is um, Head of Public Relations or Director for Public Relations and External Affairs, the Public Utilities and Regulatory Commission, telling us that uh, some minimal or uh, low skill low shedding is ongoing. But the main issue has been that, well, they paid out 36,000 Ghana cities in compensation as a result of uh, reports of fault or default uh, of uh, equipment that uh, got spoiled as a result of uh, either low shedding or uh, 
light going out, etc., uh, uh, from the part of consumers. But the main thing is, if you have any of those difficulties, first, you need to report to the PRC. Any of its offices you can find, and then they will follow through with those reports and take their own investigations and ascertain whether really your equipment got faulty or got spoiled as a result of the um, other light out or, or, or something of the sort, then your compensation could be paid. For many of you, though, who don't know that this is ongoing, please, the, I guess the floodgates have been opened, so you can make your complaint as much as possible. Um, in the meantime, though, we're taking a short break. When we come back, we have a lot more of uh, your messages on the social network pages, and so we'll be reading them to you. But right now, let's go for a short break, then we'll come back. <laughs>